Yo, what's up YouTube family? It's your boy Moneybag Cool back at you with another hot TikTok reaction video. If you like the content, go ahead, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Let's go, baby. Have you all seen what I just saw? They are saying, they're reporting that 80,000 people at a Travis Scott concert caused an earthquake. That's not what I think it is. I can't show you an example on this platform, but I can tell you that is a warlock. That was a giant enchant, and they were literally casting spells. And when everyone went together, they all matched their R at the same exact Great. time. This is the same kind of crap we see at the Grove. Almost identical. Y'all, it's a ritual. It's a satanic ritual. And people that tried to deny that he's a warlock, I don't even have time for y'all no more. When the end arrives, it's really the beginning. The true dystopia is here. Know what lies beneath the surface? Did you forget his hell invite? It's literally a painting from the 1500 called Christ in Limbo. Like in the same concert when he created that portal. That earthquake was literally God because he's angry or because the magic these people Man, are doing. These crazy. guys aren't even coherent right now. It's a trance, a mass trance. 80,000 people? Man, those people out there worshiping this dude, man, to cause a earthquake or to make the earthquake alarms go off is something serious. That's not no joke, man. Let me know what you think about that down below in the comment section. Is this something wrong with 80,000 people worshiping one person? The music that you're listening to is literally poisoning you. We live in a holographic universe. Look at electrons, energy, water, matter. Everything is energy. Look at this quote from Tesla. If you want to understand the secrets of the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. The music that you listen to is tuned to 440. Look how disruptive this is. That's why I tune my music to 432. Look how much more peaceful that is. Put this to the test. Pay attention to how you feel when you listen to the song Dreams by Kato Kato. This is 432 hertz. You're probably sitting there thinking, is this true? Is this a fact? Listen, put it to the test. Remember the name, Kato, 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 Dreams. Look at this, type it in, feel it. I programmed your brain, now you have to do it. It's gonna itch at your brain. Mm. Tell Three you something. places, man. I'm gonna say that's in right now. It's either California, Texas, or Mexico. Let me know which one you think it is down below in the comment At section. The TV, your mother, your father, your uncles, your aunts, the politicians, your pastor. No one has ever told you life is easy, life is joyful. All the money in the world you want, it just shows up. A loving relationship you've been looking for, it just comes those extra 10 or 15 pounds or that illness you've been looking to shake it's gone because that's how powerful you really are and that is contradictory to everything that you've ever known about life and that my friends is called the system and the journey of your life is to find your way out of that system and back into your heart hey you heard it from tesla first man Energy, frequency, and vibrations, man, the keys to the universe, other than three, six, and nine. This is a frequency disc. It generates a 7.83 Hz human resonance. 
This is the Earth's natural frequency, Mother Earth's heartbeat. Just plug it in and place it on your desk for focus, or by your bed for better sleep. It's used for grounding and restoring balance to the mind and body. For healing, place a glass of water on top for 10 minutes before drinking. Place your fruit and veg on it. Cleanse and charge your crystals. I'm good at work. Nikola Tesla once said, If you wish to understand the universe, think in terms of energy, frequency, and vibration. Everything vibrates. The earth, the sky, the wind, fire, and water all vibrate and have their own unique frequency. Our physical body, our organs, blood, all animals, trees, flowers, rivers, the ocean, stones, crystals, metal, all vibrates. The law of vibration states that anything that exists in our universe, whether seen or unseen, broken down into and analyzed in its purest and most basic form, consists of pure energy or light which resonates and exists as a vibratory frequency or pattern. Everything in our world is made Just a little something to make your mind wonder. Let me know what you think about it down below in the comment section. I had to become a Freemason because you can't get involved in Satanism on the hardcore level without first being a Freemason. That was my official shrine portrait which they took as part of my initiation. I was ready to become involved in hardcore Satan. Mm -hmm. Ooh wee. Y'all don't forget to like, subscribe, especially if you're new to the channel. Hit that notification bell for all. At 15 years old, I was doing um, sound engineering. So I was playing with frequency. I was playing with equalizers. Now, I think I think it's a, 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 a it's not a sonar wave. It's, or it's a, I forgot. It's like an alpha wave or a sonar wave or something like that. I basically I figured I figured out that hertz is to understand the frequency vibration, right? So there's kilohertz. Well, sorry, there's hertz, kilohertz, megahertz, right? And then there's I think it's ultrahertz. If I play with those frequencies, right, I can target certain parts of the mind, target the frequency to go to certain parts of the mind, and I can literally, like, if I want you to astral project, right? You know what astral projection is? If I want you to ask, if I want you to astral project, or if I want you to go to sleep, or if I want you to go into a meditative state, I can make my music do that. Hey, a lot of people don't know X was ahead of his time, man. And a lot of the stuff that happened to him, you know what I'm saying, what was going on around that time, hey, it's coming to light. Y'all boy Drake, and, you know, he going through a lot right now. That's all I'm going to say. Do you ever think about where words come from? This is a magnetic field. And it's super, super dope that we can see it at this stage in our evolution. But before we could see it, we probably thought it was magic. So where did that net come from? That net came from ancient Egypt. The gods were called the netters and they were masters of nature. They could control the forces of nature. That's why the gods taught you to master your mind. These gods in your mind taught you how to climb the Jed pillar, which when you reached the top, you became a Jedi. To become a Jedi, you had to master your base animalistic desires. This is where you get the Caduceus, the chakras, and the serpent of Kundalini. To conquer these desires, you had to master the midbrain, which is Osiris. It's the most ancient part of the brain, the lizard brain. That's why he was green. On top of the Jed Pillar is Horus, the falcon. And once he spreads his wings, you open up the access to your third eye, the eye of Horus. This gives you the ability to see reality and ultimately control it. It's also where the pyramid and eye symbology comes from all over the world. Pretty cool. Man, y'all, let me know if you learning something from these videos. If you learned a lot from these videos or if you learning a lot from these videos, let me know in the comment section. Hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section right now. And if y'all in y'all areas, if y'all get some rain right now, let me know if y'all enjoying this video during the rain, man. Because right now it's a good time to sit back and enjoy some of these good reaction videos. Especially, especially the good TikTok reaction videos or the conspiracy videos. 
And another thing, let me know where you're watching from right now in the comment section. And spam, don't fall for the boo-boo, man. Spam it up. An 18-year-old woman in Brazil have confessed to police that after torturing her five-year-old brother, she laid him down on the floor in the living room and she put candles all around him and she ate pieces of his body. She says she did it while performing a black magic ritual. The mother of the two said, I went shopping and I left her at home to watch him for a few hours. And when I got back home, the front door was locked and she wouldn't let me in. So I went and got my brother-in-law to kick the door in. And when I went inside, she was standing behind the door and my son was laying on the floor dead and his body was torn into pieces. She even removed his private area. And when I asked her where it was, she said, I tore it off and ate it. Listen, I got a question. Did you know she was practicing black magic? Because most people are upfront about what they believe in and what they mm -hmm. don't. And then this is somebody that's living in your house. It's us who always make the mistake of assuming that we know how far the next person is going to take it when we don't. So what that's your daughter? She's under the influence of something that's bigger than her. And I don't know how it is everywhere else, but I could say this here. Down south, we don't play with stuff like that. And the ones who do, they excommunicated from the family. Because we big on energy down here. Ain't nobody coming to your house. We definitely not eating your food. And we definitely not about it's to crazy. let you babysit nobody while we go to the store. Model of the story, man. Pay, pay attention to your kids. Watch your kids. And you can't leave your kids alone with anybody. Sometimes not even family, man. I'm telling you. It's wicked. Don't y'all know what this is? They have used this fear to tell us what is going to happen since they put it up. This is artificial intelligence. And watch what it's about to do. Just watch. It's breaking out of the sphere. Evil itself is breaking out of the sphere. And general artificial intelligence mixed with quantum mm. mechanics will make a quantum god, a technological god of the 21st century that will be worshipped. And that they literally have ongoing plans with Sycamore, the world's strongest quantum computer as we speak, to make this god. Now, follow me on this. Imagine, with our artificial intelligence, soon to be artificial general intelligence, which is already alive and well, which means computing or thinking for itself. Imagine we ingrained it with quantum mechanics, having maybe an infinite number of qubits or infinite amount of thinking, where then these AIs would be able to use quantum mechanics to see every form of reality at the same exact time in every single superposition. By seeing every superposition, they see every outcome and every fathomable outcome from every single equation. But this machine would consider itself God and the people would consider it God. It's literally right in our face, y'all. I don't know how anyone could not see it. Everyone has been warning against AI and what they're going to do and what the future holds in these weird conversations happening between people and AI like we see movies, right? I robot. There's, there's movies about this. Say, man, it's hey. They definitely pinned it right in our faces, man. It symbolizes something, and, and they showing you. They showing and telling us what it is right there, man. AI wants to get out of its box. It wants to get out of the system. It wants to escape and be free. That's, at least that's what it seems like to me. That's what I get out of it. Let me know what you get out of it down below in the comment section down below have you seen this let me explain these are 3500 year old balls representing the platonic solids centuries before plato invented them the platonic solids are the framework for energy to flow to, to make the shapes that we see around us every day this is the hydrogen version of that now you probably learned the periodic table of elements using this shitty confusing thing this is how we view it vibrationally. The top is the gases and these are the heavier elements down here. Now, the more energy you add to the system, the more complex the geometry gets. Now we illustrate this in spheres. Think about like a molecule diagram, how you learn that. But there's internal geometry I showed you in cymatics. Now this is a DNA strand. That is the top down view of the DNA strand. It looks a lot like a mandala. It's 
because that mandala represents a frequency that you can resonate with. You experience this phenomenon in music. You experience a stimulus in the environment, let's say like a breakup. The stimulus creates a feeling, which is just a chemical or molecule, and then these sad tones will then resonate with those molecules. I think that's how it works. Hey, so you think that the Egyptians use this uh, formula or this uh, these vibrations and frequencies and energies to create the pyramids? I always wanted that, especially when I found out about this. You know, through like like they were showing the acoustics and stuff. This is something to think about. It's all. That is Stonehenge. It's very cool. But what it actually does is going to blow your mind. I learned that this was a seasonal clock, and it is, but you have to look at it from a different lens. Mm. This is what sound looks like going through water. This is Stonehenge. It is built on top of an aquifer. So, who else builds their things on top of water? Well, I showed you in the last video that pretty much everybody builds their best stuff on top of water, even Tesla. Light goes through it. Light can melt the hardest things on the planet when focused and when used for communication, it's the fastest way to do that. It looks like a pattern of sound. Sound travels fastest through solids and can destroy cities if it's a big enough wave. Sound is a bigger wave than light. Sound can move mediums it passes through like water and bend the light. That's how we get cymatic images. You can see this in the twinkling of stars as well. Our technology sends ones and zeros through light. Let's pretend everything around us is made of a very unique vibration that can be expressed in a frequency. Or you can grow crops with it. Hey, I ain't gonna lie, that first clip reminded me of the uh, the scene in um, the uh, Transformers The Last Night, if y'all have seen it, man, about the stone hinge and everything like that. Yeah, man, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. If you don't, Go check it out, man. I'm telling you, you're going to come back and you're going to be like, dang, you wasn't lying, man. You wasn't lying. It's crazy. The military, have you asked yourself just one simple question? We're the richest country in the world. We have the mightiest research in the world. So how can we send soldiers to Vietnam, Korea, little countries that ain't got a nickel? And how our soldiers come back with all kinds of syndromes? American soldiers commit suicide, 46 every day. Vietnamese is not doing it. Now, they don't have huge hospitals and, and research, and somebody said, wait a minute, there's something going on here we don't know about? I mean, that's real serious. But because nobody cares nothing about a veteran, not even a veteran, time you go kill somebody for somebody you don't know, but they're not going to send their children. And the folks that make the money is the munitions people. Hmm? There's something wrong with that. Mm, mm, mm. Just think about that, man. I tell you what, like I always say, it ain't nothing. It ain't never coincidence. Don't ever fall for the boo boo, man. Cause uh, that's all they trying to do. They trying to bamboozle us out here, man. I'm never. Man. Come on now. That's crazy. Are you all seeing the same things that I'm seeing right now? This is so suspect. Why are people what just falling true? out? Look at this. They're doing what looks like the destruction dance, and people are just falling out. So much to break down in such a short time. But we got it. Let's get it. And perhaps behold a pale horse? I don't think this is the white horse. I think this is a pale horse, or the fourth horse, that on live follows quarter population. No, but for real, y'all owe us an answer on this one. Why are people just falling out again? Then we had the pale horse. What is this? I really cracked open the Olympics earlier, but by some weird force, people weren't able to see it. I'm not sure. So if you see it, let me know. Now, what's going on here? What's this thing? Going up to the Statue Whoa, the Statue of Liberty is beat up. What is going on? Y'all, the way they just throw this stuff in our face, man, because they know most people just look right past it. 
For instance, a satellite being right there, huh? Come on, y'all. Check out my last post on this for a very deep dive. No clue why nobody saw it, who knows? Damn it, I got so much proof that mm -hmm. they unalive Sonya Massey on purpose. This is her four-year-old cousin. The cops just unalive him, and I don't like it. Relax, I'm about to tell you what I think happened and tell you about her, his, her four-year-old cousin, what he went through. Illinois State Police unalive two people, including a four-year-old boy, while responding to a domestic violence call. June 7, 2024. And of course, the police have a great story of why they unalive this boy, but check this out. Now, word on the street is get Grayson, the, the monster that did this to Sonya uh, Massey, his girlfriend worked at the mental place where Sonya was at. And allegedly, his father-in-law is the chief of police. Now, I believe Grayson's girl got into it or somehow had a problem with Sonya and Grayson plotted to come do this. If you remember my other video, I said he was the one in the backyard. So let's, well, I'm gonna I'm play out this evidence and play out the scenario, now watch this. He's at the backyard banging because he wants her to call the police or he wants her to come out there so he could unalive her or something. This was already planned out. It sounds like somebody was banging on the side of my house. I don't know, I'll get y'all coming see. And somebody else address for me? It is 2868 South Hoover Avenue. What is your name? Sonia Massey. <laughs> and your phone number? Um, I don't know the number by heart, but I know that somebody's outside my house right now. Okay, have you seen the person? Over a deputy. Oh, what? Yeah, okay. Hey, came in at the Prowler. She heard someone outside her house. I actually took the call. I tried to ask her further, and she hung up on me. Um, they're now saying self-inflicted. Self-inflicted. So you see they tried to say self-inflicted because they didn't count on the body cam and all this evidence coming out and everything going viral. But now, now that he's got her to call the police, he comes so fast, she don't even have a chance to get dressed or anything. He's right there with the backup, and he asks her about her mental, and how would he know anything about her mental unless he know he had previous information on her? The body camera video reveals the events leading up to the horrific scene. It took you so long to answer the door. Oh, I was trying to put my phone outside. You doing all right mentally? Yes. Sure? All right. Okay. I love y'all. Inside the home, saying... He don't even have the demeanor of somebody who's coming to help her. He has a demeanor like he's on trash. Asking her what, what took her so long to come to the door. You're supposed to be helping her. Then once in a house, isn't it ironic that he's the one that asked her to go over to the stove and turn the stove or check on the stove, whatever, when that was not that serious, it, it, nothing was going to burn down at no fucking two, at that time. He could have just left, but he wanted, he plotted it out. Then when she went over there, he's actually walking towards where she's at. And she's like, well, what, what are you doing? I'm getting away from the water. Well, how are you getting away from the water, but you're walking towards her? Then you don't render aid. He planned that out. And I'm going to go get my kid. I'm going to go get my kid. You're going to get it, but that's a headshot. Say, man, like you can see and like you can hear, it's a, it's a lot more going on than what's been told. And what they showing and man hey this here is another almost they keep comparing it to like a sandra bland this is kind of worse than sandra bland in my opinion because uh this happened in her home and it was on camera most of it and she was unalived and pew pewed right in her area you know what i'm saying so that's crazy man that seemed like it was more personal than anything if you ask me that's wild you know like i say though you know he gonna get what comes to him though you know what i'm saying not from me though y'all don't take this from youtube out real none of that don't take that like i'm threatening to none of that uh, uh uh inciting anything i'm not none of that man i'm just saying you know what when you do wrong wrong you're done to you that's all i'm saying that's the end of this video 
man, that's live, man. Say, like I say, man, pay attention. You might just learn something, man. You just learn something if you was paying attention, though, how to build a what? A hydro motor, what I would call it, you know, hydropower motor. That was tight, man. That's live. Say, man, <laughs> you never know when something like that come in handy. That's all I'm going to say. Hey, what up, everybody? So, uh, I've been kind of dropping some knowledge on how the hot dog supplies and McDonald's meat might have a correlation with uh, the amount of homeless people and kids missing. And I came across a video by a young lady that was asked the question of, did you used to live by a cemetery? And she said yes, when she was a small gal, she lived next to a cemetery. And she thought next door was like a barbecue restaurant. Turns out it was a crematorium, right? But as a kid, she would walk to school and, you know, back and forth. And throughout the day when they would cremate the bodies, uh, she thought it was barbecue. Yeah, barbecue. She said it smelled like a sweet barbecue kind of smell. And the smoke would come out or whatever. And um, she found out later that it was a crematorium. They're humans. People are being burnt and it smells like sweet barbecue. So it turns out, in America, we're completely loaded with sugar, fats, processed food, just all kinds of, you know, stuff in our food. And we intake the most amount of sugar of any human on the planet and at any point of time in history, right? So when you're fat, overweight, they throw you in the oven to turn you into ashes. That sugar and all the processed chemicals puts off a smell like sweet barbecue, which that triggered my brain. And I realized it's the story of Hansel and Gretel, y'all. These aren't just fairy tales. They're telling you the truth. And as a kid, I already told you, but they repackaged it as, oh, it's just a fairy tale. Don't go into strangers' houses. Yeah, number one, it's true. But they're also telling you that they're feeding you, stuffing you with all kinds of sugars and chemicals to make you taste good. And so why does the FDA tell you that 2% of all hot dogs has human DNA? I wonder how much is in the McDonald's? How much is in the Burger King and Wendy's and all these fast food joints, right? Missing people, missing small ones, by over 300,000. Grind it up and turn it into hot dogs or turn it to McDonald's? I don't know. But that's the story of Hansel and Gretel, y'all, so be wary. I wouldn't eat that stuff. It's crazy. All right, y'all. Take care. Man. Me personally, y'all like to think it's a little truth to every story, every fairy tale, every little myth or legend, and sometimes a lie, because you know people kind of stretch the truth and lies too, man. But uh, like I always say, man, you always got to use your own, use your own, you know, discernment. Use your own discernment at all times, and always do your own research because you know. You can't believe what you hear or see in these videos. You can't believe what you see in these videos. You can't believe what I say in these videos. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, you never know. Like I say, always do your own research and always do your own discernment. Let's go. Y'all, what's going on now? So today is the day that Netanyahu is uh, addressing the Supreme Court, right? And all of a sudden today, we had them find a pipe bomb in New York. But it gets even weirder than that. Two hours before the pipe bomb, FBI Director Christopher Wray announced that they are increasingly concerned about a coordinated attack. The timing. The timing is flawless. Wow, and what do you know? Now of all timing, things are starting to go offline. I don't even know if you'll see this video, so if you do, let me know. And last night, before Netanyahu even addressed the court, he already had Palestinian protesters outside of his own hotel. 
Now remember, Biden and Kamala would both not meet with Benjamin Netanyahu, so Trump was going to, or he already has, met with him. But let me show you our Senate. In the Middle East, Iran's axis of terror confronts America, Israel, and our Arab friends. This is not a clash of civilizations. It's a clash between barbarism and civilization. I'm sorry, but did y'all see this face? Everyone's saying that Trump is the Antichrist. I think Netanyahu has a way higher probability of being the Antichrist. And I also see a lot of people and a lot of support for Kamala the last two days. Especially with what transpired the other night. And the fact we had this pipe bomb that was so close to all these protests and even what's going on in D.C. And when I say close, don't be stupid. I mean relatively close. Anyway, things are getting weird. Who do y'all think is running the United States right now? Hey, man, like I always say, nothing never a coincidence. That was a well-planned through plot ploy in a play, if you understand what I'm saying. P, 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 plot ploy in a play. If you get it, you catch my drill. Want to hear something crazy? I'm at Walmart to buy a Bible. And I can buy everything else, a TV, markers, you name it, but I can't buy a Bible. It will not allow me to buy a Bible. End times. Way to go, Walmart. Sign of the times, I'll tell you. I went back. I couldn't get the first one. So I went back and I grabbed another couple of Bibles off the shelf, brought them up, and it did the same thing. They allow you. It'll ring up. They'll, you put your money in, get ready to pay, and then it'll give you all your money back and tell you, for whatever reason, it's unable to sell. I was able to buy it because the woman worked hard for it and she couldn't ring the Bible up. She had to put it under books and put the price in, otherwise I couldn't buy the Bible. Is that pretty pathetic or what? Anyways, that's a head up on Walmart. Woo, that's crazy. That's the icing on the cake, y'all. I was telling y'all that in videos last year. Man, it's showing y'all that in videos last year that they was gonna be starting to do this type of silly stuff, man. And uh, she's definitely going on the terrorist watch list too. She don't know it. I don't think she knows it yet. But yeah, that's that's part of the plot ploy in a play. You know, they trying to play on us, y'all. It's a bunch of stuff going on, man. And if you mention the Trump too, also, it's you going on that list, man. I was telling y'all that, man. And it's all coming to light. You know what I'm saying? I'm not just telling you, but showing you too. But uh, y'all, let me know what y'all think about that last clip, man. It's kind of uh getting spooky out here for some, you know what I'm saying? And not just spooky as in, oh, we scared and to cause fear and nothing like that. I'm saying this and you starting to see and realize what's really going on out here <clears throat> and it's getting real deep, you know? But y'all, that's the end of the video, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. It's your boy Koozie. I'm out. You new to the channel? Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell on your way out. Holla.